we're just kind of cleaning up a couple of things, learning about HTML and CSS, learning about new HTML elements. We're going to learn about queue, lock quote, and site elements, and uh, the site attribute. And so those are just like you know some elements in HTML that are pretty similar. And uh, let's make a differentiation distinction about what they are and where and when we would use them. Uh, if you want to take this whole course, go to greatercommons.com for the Greater Common Good. It's a website my friends and I built. And uh, this HTML CSS course is an amazing class. And uh, so please come check that out. And this is the course outline from that course that we're learning out of. We're in class right now. So Q block quote and site. Um, how do we get there? So to, uh, to take a look at those, first let's look at this. So Q is for short quotations that don't require paragraph breaks. And if you are not sure what this was, again, the way you'd go to the documentation is MDN just Q, right? And then you'd read about it here. MDN's the place you want to go for documentation. But here, what I have here is pretty much straight from MDN. So short quotations that don't require paragraph breaks. What, and then a block quote is for a long quotation. And uh, a site is a reference to a creative work. And then Q and block quote also have a site attribute. Right, site attribute, site attribute in each of those. And this is a site element. So that's just kind of lay the land. Let's see it in action. I am going to go for live code in this. And, uh, and I think I'll just do 47. Q, block, quote, and site. I'll drag that, drop it in there. Go for it, because we didn't use it. And then we'll just copy it, make it 01. We got an extra. And split vertically. All right. So, quote. We need a quote. Uh, then there's that English saying, I guess we'll put this in a paragraph, from some famous poet, I think it was, I don't know, but the saying is, Life is, did I spell that right? It's Q. Life is nasty, brutish, and short. There's some cheeriness for you. And you can see here there's quotes around that, right? Short quote, Q, cool, All right? And let's just make this a little bit more visible. We could say P font, I don't know, six rim, uh, sand. Did I connect that? I did. Okay. And who said it? I'm just curious. Tom Sobs. Solitary, poor, and nasty, brutish, and short. Outside society. That's not so uplifting. And then let's say we had a block quote. Paragraph, lorem, 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 and then somewhere in here we want to do block quote. We need some long quote.
So there's the block quote. It's been set off. All right. And let's fix this up a little. So this is one paragraph font revamped. Fascinating. I need my uh, so uh, it looks like I didn't use this correctly. I've got an error down here, so it needs to be like this. And instead of uh, that, I'll do uh, body. And then up here, I'll do HTML body paragraph block quote. And before I add anything in there, let's just see what it looks like now. Well, that worked. It did to the whole body. Good enough. So that's a block quote, it's a larger quote, right? Isn't that a nice quote? Thus shall you think of this fleeting world, of a scarred dawn, a bubble in a stream, a flash of lightning in a summer cloud, a flickering lamp, a phantom, and a dream. And then maybe I want to include citations on those. I'm going to copy this first one to O3. And for O3, I could have the site attribute. And uh, one thing I want to look at first is MBN block quote. And then I used the element incorrectly, and it says permitted, uh, par permitted parents any element that accepts flow content. Permitted content is flow content. So a parent could be a paragraph, could it? Flow content is everything, man. All right? Do we have a paragraph? We got a paragraph. So parent could be a paragraph. Could be another block quote. See if there's any exceptions on that. Um, So here we have a block quote around a paragraph. I didn't like it when we had, like if that block quote was in there. It says closing tag matches nothing. All right. My editor thinks that's an error. Though, according to MDM, a paragraph, let's see what a paragraph can hold. Paragraph MDN. A paragraph permitted content, phrasing content. So you can only put phrasing content in a paragraph. And uh, there's no block quote in the phrasing. So you can't put inside of a paragraph a block quote. The paragraph only accepts phrasing, so that's right. OK, so we've got 0, 3 here and a quotation, a site, QMDN. Find the site attribute. 
Value of this attribute is a URL that designates a source document or message for the information quoted. This attribute is intended to point to information explaining the context or the reference of the quote. So here's an example. So what's that first one? Nasty Bruce and Short. And that came from here. So we're going to go and put that URL there. So there's our citation, right? Our site. And for this one, here's the block quote. We could also do a site. And we'll go look at that one. Block quote site. A URL designates the source document. Uh, this attribute is intended to point to information. So I just kind of like, you know, I'm documenting, hey, this is where I got that from. What do you think about that? So we have block quote, we have quote, you understand it? And then you have the site attribute, this is the URL from where you got the quote. Straightforward, right? Ready for the monkey wrench? And then we finally have the site element. This is not the site attribute, it's the site element. Uh, is used to describe a reference to a cited created work. It must include either the title or the URL of that work. The reference may be in abbreviated form according to context appropriate conventions related to citation metadata. Attributes, only uh, uh, the element only includes global attributes. Usage notes, example, cite ISO 5000. That is so not helpful. More information can be found in ISO 100. Um, is used to describe a reference to a cited creative work. It must include either the title or the URL of that work. So it needs to include the title or the URL of that work. So here's how we would use it. to the movies and saw I think I'm going to go with a uh, Feel pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty girl. She's a pretty, 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 pretty girl. My favorite Stephen King book is. I don't know now that I'm actually typing it. Hmm? It. It's not my favorite. Um, I haven't thought about this in a while. Probably on writing. Can I do this?
Or I might just say, I want to see what other examples I came up with before. How did I just use a URL? Block quote, site, 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 their site. So I did a Game of Thrones cited, Jaws cited, the Surfer Eaten by Wave is amazing. I really like the book, Sight, West of the Night. Oh, that's kind of nice. I did an anchor around it. I like that. All right, so you, the link is right there as an anchor in the site. That's good. Those all work well. Okay, so block quote, quote, each have a site attribute, and then there's a site element which allows you to cite a creative work or a URL. Please hit like and subscribe on this video. That helps other people find these videos and then that helps me pay rent and put food on the table because teachers I'm discovering are really poorly paid. When I was a bachelor, it was okay. But now that I got kids and a wife and I'm trying to support them all so she could be a stay-at-home mom, my, my salary is like, I'm struggling. So thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And uh, we'll make something happen here. Oh, and if you want to take the course, go to Greater Commons. We built that. Try to supplement income. Boom, 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 boom. Right there, Greater Commons. Thanks. See you in the next video.